Good morning. This is Juliet here, Juliet Yerwerton. And um, I'm out on the Somerset Levels. I'm out at uh, Ham, well, on the way to Ham Wall on the Nature Reserve. You can hear the ducks. It's very, very beautiful today. Incredible day. I um, so, feel so joyful at the day. So it didn't start this way. It started with very, very dark, gloomy mist, obscure and everything. I thought it was going to be another one of those terrible, horrible, cloudy days. Anyway, it led me to think when I was making a little video of the, the mist and the sun penetrating the mist. It made me think about uh, core wounds and about not being able to see, not seeing. And I have a question for you. Do you feel seen? This is really, really deep. Do you feel seen? Do you feel seen by those that matter in your life? Or do you have a fear of being seen? This is the other side of it. Do you have a fear of being seen? So this morning, when I was thinking about these things, I suddenly realized that this is one of my core wounds, myself. I don't feel seen. We just have a jogger passing. I don't feel seen. And uh, I've been writing about this in my, my autobiography, um, Unashamedly Me. Why did I call it that? I called it that because shame is such a deep corrosive force in our society and it's used to dumb us down, it's used to uh, make it fearful for us to uh, step up and be seen. And all my life I've been working at, at healing that. So the autobiography is very much that process of what happened in my deep childhood, how that deep core wound happened in the beginning. So two major core wounds I identified in myself, which was attachment and attunement. Attunement is um, very much about, are you seen? Do those people that care for you really see you as the beautiful soul that you are? Do you light do, they, do you light up their hearts when they look at you? Do their eyes light up in delight? So do you have that sense of being seen that people light up when they see you? So we all have, um, most of us, all, all have core wounds very, very fundamental wounds because we live in a world where collective trauma is all around us. It's very, very deep and there's lots of healing to be done. And it's interesting, although I've been working as a trauma educator and a trauma healer for a long time, I still am identifying those core wounds and core issues and I keep stripping back the layers of those in that healing process. And it's like a spiral, you keep coming round to that place again and it's very easy to feel, oh, I thought I had healed this, but here I am and it's all happening again. But it's not happening in quite the same way, it's like peeling back the layers of, a, of an onion, a skin of an onion, we get to a different place with it. We have more tools to deal with it, more awareness. So when we started this healing process, when if we if we recognize the amount of trauma that we have suffered from and how traumatized we are and we decide to start healing then it might be first of all you say oh well I have nothing to heal I'm healed there's nothing wrong with me I'm happy uh, life is going well and it's interesting how even that those people that appear to be most successful actually have a lot of unhealed trauma and often very very successful people feel hugely unseen hugely unloved hugely unsafe and that that outer ability to um, manifest wealth and stardom and so on is is um, a way of actually creating a mask for that part that doesn't feel safe that part of the person so we get pulled into all sorts of um, paths of corruption and difficulty and pain. And then we start healing. 
we decide to start healing and begin to recognize, oh, well, there is actually something here that is causing me a lot of pain, and what is it? Where does it come from? And that part is very hidden. It's a bit of, um, bit of ourselves that's been thrown away, that's frozen and thrown away. And the healing process is reclaiming that part of ourselves, bringing it back into consciousness and integrating it into ourselves. And as we do that, then our lives change. They become happier. Um, you might not hang on to all that external wealth or whatever's going on, but those patterns, those early patterns will begin to change so that the pain changes. Someone else going by on a walk. So that's where I'm at and I'm still doing my healing work. And I have put together to help others because that is my journey, is actually helping others to heal. I've put together a four month online personal healing program that's full of daily um, videos and meditations that help you connect to that frozen part of yourself and very safely, little by little, integrate it back into yourself so that part can heal. And I also have a healing book that can be used alongside that. So I'll put the links to those underneath the video. And um, excuse my shaky hand, I'm out here. <laughs> I'm out here balancing the phone on a post. So lots of love to you. And you know, just reflect on that question. Do you feel seen or do you feel safe to be seen? Do you want to hide away? So lots of love to you today and be well, be happy and be healed. And if you want to come to my um, healing program, it's www.healing.trauma.uk. Healing with a capital H and trauma with a capital T. Dot UK. Lots of love to you. Bye.